Welcome to Bears and Excel. Today is Thursday, February the 2nd, and this is the market overview. Looking at the Dow, SPX, VIX, TNA, UUP, FXE, GLD, SLV, XOI, GE, CompQ, and XLF. Yeah, that sounds, uh, sounds pretty well-rounded for tonight. And once again, the Bears just uh, can't catch a break. <laughs> How about that? Seems to be a uh, reoccurring thing theme this last uh, two months. But uh, nonetheless, away we go. Um, last night we had uh, some worries about um, you know getting to this uh, indecision point and then uh, going straight up. And uh, evidently that was well-founded. We ended with a very clean spinning top today. And the secondaries are mixed. I mean, we have the all-important 14-day RSI moving average leveling out, looking like potentially it could turn down, but it isn't turning down yet. And we have the uh, stochastics mixed, and uh, it would appear like they want to go back up, uh, perhaps to meet up with the 14-day and then go down, in which case there is uh, room for movement on the upside. CCI ticking down, RSI ticking down, histogram ticking down, MACD ticking down, so you can make a uh, uh, a case in either direction and that uh, spinning top confirms that um, beyond that SPX yep spinning top and it's a well positioned spinning top too we have no down tick everything's pointing up um, exactly the same thing with the secondaries except that they're stronger uh, CCI ticking up RSI ticking sideways the uh, stochastics ticking up, 14-day um, RSI moving average leveling out, slight downtick on the MACD, and a side tick on the MACD histogram. So uh, SPX definitely stronger than the Dow at the moment, and uh, neither one looking like uh, there's too much trouble. You could look at this and say, oh, we're going to have a double top, and, uh, and then it's going to fall apart, but uh, we just don't know if that's the case yet. Um, I mean, certainly it backed away from uh, the 13.30 area, uh, but it also did not close at the lows of the day. So need more information. We, at the very least, we need a downtick. Not that it's going to give us that much because a uh, downtick is only going to give us about 13.13 uh, 13 roundabout uh, to the downside. And that uh, just isn't too good from our current position. So um, anyway, so that's what it is. The VIX, oof, this one got uh, clobbered today. Didn't make a new, didn't make a new low, but it did close at the lows of the day. Uh, Short-term moving average is pointing down, and uh, fourteen day RSI moving average ticking sideways. Stochastics pointing down, CCI pointing down, RSI pointing sideways. Down tick on the histogram, side tick on the MACD. Doesn't look, uh, doesn't look too happy to me. Uh, a few days ago, we were enjoying the idea of uh, this ticking up, but uh, it just isn't working out at the moment. So um, there it is. XOI. Oil is bullish. The market is bullish. Green spinning top. Not as strong as the Dow. Not as strong as the SPX. Uh, middle Bollinger Band above the short-term moving averages. We are below the upper price consensus level. And we do have a further downtick on the 14-day RSI moving average. It is being countered somewhat by the uh, stochastics, the fast stochastic pointing up, along with the uh, RSI pointing up, CCI ticking sideways, uptick on the histogram, and a slight downtick on the MACD. Very, very mixed spinning top, indecision candle, and uh, all kinds of mixed indications. So, um, yep, could break either way. Don't like it. Don't like spinning tops. That is what it is. Um, NASDAQ. NASDAQ holding up the market, ending with a very small spinning top. And you could look at this and say, oh, well, it's an indecision candle. It's small bodied. Uh, the rally is weakening. Yes, absolutely. You can, uh, you could infer that. Uh, it did make a new recent high today, so it also has that. Short term moving averages, a little bit of excessive separation, a little bit of wobble. Uh, nothing too major, 
And uh, 14 day RSI moving average still ticking up. Stochastics ticking up. R CCI ticking up. RSI ticking sideways. Yes, it's overbought. Has been for a very long time. Uh, but uh, it is what it is. Uptick on the MACD. Uptick on the MACD histogram. Uh, so we cannot guess at this point that, hey, we're going to have a, the trend is weakening. It's going to turn around tomorrow, et cetera, et cetera. Um, everything is news driven at the moment and the news is being spun positive so uh, until we have this turnaround we're not going to have a decent pullback in the market you know I was watching this uh, today and at one point the Dow was down decent SPX was down semi-decent and the stinking Nasdaq up 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 so uh, no wonder why everything else went back up today. TNA also held up by the NAS. Yes, this is the Russell and it's small caps. Uh, ending with a small body spinning top, uh, even getting above the upper Bollinger Band, holding above the 200 day moving average. Uh, we need a big green candle to validate the, uh, you know, holding above the 200 day. We don't have that yet. And we have a little bit of excessive separation in the short term moving averages, nothing major. And 14 day RSI moving average still ticking on up, just like the NAS. Uh, stochastics holding high, trying to tick up, CCI ticking up. Everybody wants to be in small caps and tech at the moment, just what it is. Uptick on the RSI, uptick on the histogram, uptick on the MACD. So, not pretty for the bulls or the bears. It is pretty for the bulls. Uh, not picture perfect, but it is uh, more than decent. UUP. Yeah. We ended with a little doji today and a little no-nothing, nobody candle. 14 DRSI moving average still ticking down. Stochastics trying, trying ever so slightly and slowly to tick up along with the CCI, the RSI, the histogram, but not the MACD. Um, this one has just been incredible that it hasn't been sucked into the long-term moving averages <clears throat> but uh, that that is what it is uh, we do have excessive separation we do have wobble but uh, we don't have a clear sign that it is going to correct itself as of yet FXE very similar no real body just a little doji um, We've been noting how this one has been held down by the long-term moving averages much better than UUP. And, uh, you know, every day is another day of waiting until tomorrow for a fix in Euroland and the market is buying it. So uh, that is the reality in which we live. Downtick on the CCI, downtick on the stochastics, downtick on the histogram, uptick on the MACD, uptick on the 14-day RSI moving average. Uh, we do just have to have a good decent down day um, to, to get the ball rolling uh, and overcome you know or at least start to uh, flatten out the 14 day RSI moving average and get a bearish cross on the MACD which neither one is indicating that at this time GE we've been looking at this one for foretelling of the Dow and it has been extremely minor Ending today with a red spinning top, three red days in a row, and uh, just not big enough to uh, to really impact uh, the Dow. The Dow has been weaker than everything else, and uh, I think that the GE chart is helping along with that, but uh, just nothing major enough to hurt the Russell or the NASDAQ. 14 day RSI moving average taken down, along with the CCI the uh, stochastics, the RSI, the histogram, the MACD, uh, but we're still a decent ways away from a bar retest. You know, 25 cents may not sound that big, but uh, uh, it's important. XLF, the financials, looking at the banks, ending today, spinning top, small body, uh, short term moving averages pointing up, CCI going up. 14 day RSI moving average going sideways, stochastics going up, RSI going up, histogram going up, MACD going up. So, uh, yep, we have no warning here 
that uh, there's trouble and it actually made a new intraday high did not close there but uh, a new high new recent high is a new recent high um what else is there GLD GLD yeah dollars sort of going down I do think that fear is increasing even though the VIX is uh, going down um, just a fat body with little stubs at the top and bottom um, short-term moving averages pointing up a little bit of excessive separation and we're stuck in the up position with all of the indicators for the CCI stuck above 100 stochastics 14 day RSI moving average stuck uh, in overbought RSI taking up stuck in overbought hit uh, MACD Ooh, uh, did I get my names crossed around MACD and 14 and uh, regular RSI taking up stuck in the upward position uh, histogram is ticking down, but uh, whew, just uh, nice for gold. Very nice. And SLV. Same thing as gold. Yep, yep. Uh, CCI isn't, is just barely getting to overbought again and ticking up. But uh, everything else, very, very similar. Um, not too much to say there. Just not too much to say. And there it is, even though the charts are saying that perhaps there's the potential for a movement in either direction, um, at the moment, today, it would seem to me that the charts do favor the bulls, and uh, it's going to take some panic uh, for the bears to get underway. You know, every dip is bought, and uh, that's just all there is to it at the moment. Um, and there it is. Um, that does it for tonight. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video are for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you.